There's a game in North America called cornhole, which is you take a bag, fill with corn, and you throw it through a hole. There's an entire league dedicated to this, which I found out when doing some research for this project. So what I want to know is if Susan can compete with the best in cornhole. To be able to play cornhole, you need cornhole boards. So we're going to have Susan make some using the push corp spindle. These are some fairly basic planar paths from Masterpan. To be able to throw the beanbag, I needed to add a little arm onto the end of Susan to be able to flick the beanbag off. The actual end of joint six doesn't move fast enough to do that on its own. I just used some 2020 extrusion that I had laying around and bolted it into shape. For Susan to be able to see where she needed to throw, I added just a basic 1080p webcam to the end of the arm. And slide the beanbag in between the forks. It's enough friction to hold it in place but not so much that it doesn't just fly out. There was a lot of testing that went into actually making Susan able to throw a beanbag. Bean! It was a lot trickier than it seems. These are just basic straight throws. They're not actually trying to hit the board at all. All of the smarts in this project are all done on a Jetson Xavier AGX using OpenCV. This is an awesome little computer. Think of it like if a video card had a baby with a Raspberry Pi. It has a lot of parallel compute on it, so you can do neural networks, deep learning, machine vision, but it doesn't actually draw all that much power, and with a little mount, you can strap it directly onto Susan. The board is actually surprisingly hard to tell apart from the floor in a lot of cases. They're pretty close in color, and there's enough other colors around that pretty much match, and it's sort of hard to pick out the board itself. Plus, each board has a different logo on it, which makes it even harder. That's where this red circle comes in. Now this is just using red gaff tape cut into a rough circle. First, the camera takes in the image and filters out everything except the color of the ring. Then, using that ring, it can find all of the edges and get the center point of that ring in space and it can locate where that ring is inside the actual image itself. Once it knows that, and I know where the camera is because it's on the end of the robot, I can get approximate measurements from the end of the arm to the center of the hole. Then it's just calculating the trajectory that the beanbag needs to fly in, as well as the motion of the arm itself to make that throw happen. Once the camera and the Jetson can find the hole and measure where it is in 3D space, it can send that data over the ethernet to Susan, and then Susan can just drain shots no matter where the board is. The safety system on this is just awesome for how I use it. It's using safe operation from KUKA, which lets me basically put up an imaginary fence around the robot. Susan cannot move outside of this imaginary buffer, but I don't need to have a bunch of fences and things that I'm constantly moving around. On top of that, this safety PLC from Hakuyo is a perfect match for that. It can watch the area around Susan and monitor anything that's within a certain known area. If anything gets within that area, Susan is not allowed to move at all. Well, now that Susan's all set up and working, let's give her a challenge. I couldn't really find the best that the cornholing world has to offer, but let's hope the Hacksmith team can put up a good fight. Welcome to the first ever Saxon Holes Cornhole Tournament. We have two fierce competitors. We have the red team representing Hacksmith Industries. And on the red team, we have the Hacksmith. And Ben. On the blue team, we have Susan and Dave. Let the games begin. First up, we have Ben. Takes a throw and misses. For the blue team, solid throw from Dave, one point. 
Ben, oh, so close, but off again. Dave with a solid throw on the board. Ben just goes off again. Solid throw. What? Ben finally got one on the board. Last throw from the blue team, misses. Solid three-pointer there. Whoa, and the Hacksmith gets three Ooh, points nice. for Red. Susan with another swoosh and three points. Ooh. No pressure. Oh, Red gets one on the board. Susan lining up. And another three points. And there you have it, folks. It was a solid attempt by the red team, but they could just not compete with the precision of Susan. This project was hugely fun to do. It's not a normal industrial application, but it uses a lot of the same hardware and software that's available to make any robot a little bit smarter. I also really enjoyed working with the Jetson and using OpenCV to be able to make Susan react dynamically to the changing world around her, which I think is going to be hugely powerful for some upcoming videos. If you have any suggestions for other projects that you think I should try with a robot, or maybe other sports, make sure to put a note down in the comments and I'll definitely add it to the list for future videos. Make sure to subscribe too so you get notified when those videos come up. Thanks for watching, robots are awesome, and I'll see you next time. I think this might be the first time that I'm actually good at a sport. <laughs>